Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. You know, nostalgia is a powerful emotion, a bridge to the past that reminds us of simpler times, warm memories, and the essence of who we are. It allows us to relive moments that shaped our lives, bringing a smile to our faces and a longing for the days gone by. Today, I want to embark with you on a journey back to those cherished times where life was uncomplicated and every day was filled with simpler joys and profound lessons. Do you remember when getting new clothes from Kmart was a big deal? You know, they stayed on layaway until school started, and that made the anticipation all the sweeter. Eating out at a restaurant was not a regular thing but a special occasion to be savored. Fast food? Hardly ever, and definitely not in my house. That was yesterday's leftovers at home, right? And on hot days, a popsicle was the ultimate treat. We had our candy cigarettes, and a dollar in our pocket felt like a small fortune. School was non-negotiable, or at least in my house. And as soon as we got home, off came the school clothes, replaced by our well-worn play clothes. And if no one was home after school, we didn't worry. We went to the neighbor's house. Daycare wasn't a thing because we had a key to our own house, a symbol of trust and independence. Dinner, at least at my house, was a family affair. It was eaten around the table with conversations that filled the room. Our house phone had its own special place, and it wasn't constantly ringing. We filled our days with games like Cops and Robbers, 123 Not Me, 123 Not It, Ghost in the Graveyard, Red Light, Green Light, Hide and Seek, Truth or Dare, Tag, Kickball, and Dodgeball. We even would play games with a football and call it Fumble Rooski, or maybe just get a game going with friends in the neighborhood. You know, boys and girls played together in the street coming home when the street lights flickered on. You remember that? My mom would come out and yell at me to come home. I would always try to hang on for an extra 15 minutes. You know, staying indoors was a punishment, and boredom wasn't an option. If you claimed you were bored, you'd quickly find yourself with a chore. We ate whatever my mom cooked, or we didn't eat at all. Bottled water did not exist. We actually drank from the tap or the garden hose, and it tasted just fine. You know, we memorized phone numbers and addresses, or we jotted them down on a piece of paper, and we carried that around with us. Cell phones were not a thing until Zach Morris brought out the big brick phone. Remember that one? Otherwise, you know, those were that was stuff of science fiction at the time, you know? Saturday mornings were for cartoons, and the rest of the day was for endless bike rides and adventures until the streetlights signaled it was time to go home. We weren't afraid of anything. We respected our elders and knew better than to talk back. Misbehaving meant facing the wooden paddle, switch, or a belt, but we grew up understanding boundaries and respect. You know, those were the good old days. A time when childhood was pure and simple. You know, kids today may never experience these moments, but we carry these memories with us as a testament to a time when life was a little bit slower, a little bit sweeter, and filled with simple joys. <clears throat> Personally, I cherish these memories, and I share them with young people when I see them, especially my own kids, not as a critique of modern times, but as a reminder of the enduring values of simplicity, respect, and community. You know, let's inspire others to find beauty in simplicity and warmth in shared moments. You know, these memories are more than just recollections. They are the foundation upon which we can build a better, more connected future. By embracing the lessons from our past, we can create new, meaningful experiences for ourselves and the generations to come, ensuring that the essence of those good old days live on in our hearts and in our actions. 
you know, I love to just sit around with my wife and talk about the good old days, you know, the good old times. I think we always think that, you know, when we were younger, politicians were always honest. You know, we always had more to do and the life that we lived was easier and better. Whether it really was or not, I don't think it matters. I just love to think back on those times. I tell you what, it's, uh, I had a great childhood growing up. I'm sure you did as well. And it's just nice to think back about the good old days and the fun we had. It's so much more different than the life that my children lead today. They do different things. They're not interested in going for long bike rides or some of the other things that I used to do. They have their own unique approach to life. And as being a father is an adaptive sport, I like to say, as I watch them grow up, I appreciate more and more the realities of who they are and what it means to be a child today. I'm sure if you look around, you see differences too. But you know what? The one thing that will never change is the fact that I believe in you. I care about you. And you know what? I know if anybody's worth it, you definitely are. I hope you have a beautiful day, my friends. I'll be back tomorrow with some more great stuff. And we'll keep walking down this path towards more successful lives that allow us to live our dreams and the goals we set for ourselves. Take care, friends. Talk to you tomorrow.